Hello and welcome to the lesson five, which is the last lessons of this series. Uh, we have already seen how we can use tuple, leads, or dictionary to group relevant data or objects together, and how we can use functions to create shortcuts for commonly used groups of codes. And we will talk about class in these videos. Python is an object-oriented programming language, and you can consider any coding done in Python revolves around objects. In some object-oriented language, objects are just basic chunks of data and attributes. However, in Python, they consist of functions as well as the data elements. And every object has its own types, such as string, integer, float, dictionary, and so on. And classes comes comes to play here. In Python, classes used to define a particular types of objects because Python can have both functions and data elements. And Python classes define what methods or functions can be used within the objects. And classes also indicate what attributes, that is the data elements that can that the objects can have. In short, classes are a way of grouping similar data and functions which add upon that particular types of objects. All right, let's get started. So here I would like to teach you how to um, create a classes with the attributes as well as the methods. So just like what we have in the in, in how to to how to define the functions. Uh, so similarly, we just uh, provide, uh, uh, we just type in the classes and then the name of your class and then the objects. So these center is a very, this statement is very typical. You just uh, rename this uh, whatever you want. And then Within this class, as I mentioned before, we have the attributes and also the methods. So we just would like to initialize the data attribute right here. And then, so this is the attribute part. And then that init self, and then just like do something. So, so say for example, we would like to print hello. That is the attribute part and then but I will change it later on just to make sure that uh, you know what it's doing. And then the other part that I would like to do is to set up the functions to um, that is used to communicate with your data. That is the method part right here. So again, we just um, use the def. Uh, here I just define an evaluation function that is used to evaluate the, the stock. So I, again, just um, evaluation parts right here. So um, let me just continue. Um, this way is that we try to assign some things to be this, uh, to, with, to, to be with this class. So that's this create on object. And this is a group similar. And that is right what we try to group similar objects together. So, so say for example, we have a apple that is our uh, stock one. So this right now we just um, define apple as a stock classes right array, and here apple is actually the object, and then stocks is actually the class. So what it means is that we actually put the apple to here, to this right, <clears throat> to here in order for us to define apple um, to be the stock um, class. So say for example, for the Google, we also have stock prices. So right here, we also, um, because I, I, I just mentioned that we would like to initialize some some data attributes say for example we would like to assign a open uh, open price and close price and then similarly open price and close price so in order so in order for us to do so is that here you def in it right here you can see that here with a self self means the apple there's the apple asset inside these objects 
and then this pass into the self, okay? And then because we have two two prices right here, one is the opening price and the other is the closing price, so we just um, provide two value into it, and we consider this is the attribute. So that's the open price and also the close price. And then within this um, attribute parts, we can have the self open and then self.close. Here we're just um, telling this, um, uh, this um, attribute structure is that self, that is the apple, and telling that apple, okay, here we are going to initialize an apple with an open price and close price. Here, this is the open price and also the close price for this one. So that we just put it in the open price. And then this just put the close price in order for us to assign the attributes uh, with this uh, Apple object or the stock or, or the stock class. So similarly, right now, if we um, just pass these two value into into it, it means that okay, we have our initially we have a Google um, that is the class stock uh, with an open price hundred and with a close price ninety. So this is how we um, initialize the attributes part. Okay, after uh, we initialize the um, the attributes inside these classes. Actually, we also want to define a method to communicate with these um, with this open price and also the close price. Say, for example, uh, we just would like to evaluate whether the stock is going up or going down. So here I define a valuation functions and then valuation valuation function and then as you see valuation functions that is the self dot open because here we already assign variables to 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 um to this open price um then these variables to to contain the close price so we have the self dot open and then self dot close that is what we used it to to calculate the the price is going up or going down. So within this evaluation, say for example, if that is larger than uh, zero, okay, that is say up. And then else, that is say down. So right now we also have the methods that um, we had used it to communicate with the Data set um, or the data that we, we we just pass it into the uh, into the stock or into the Apple and also into the Google uh, into the uh, stock classes. So right now, how 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 should we call the evaluation function? Is that very simple? Because right now you already have the Apple. This is what we have. This that is the self, and then dot. Evaluate right right now. You can see that there is evaluation self, and that's it. This is how we call the evaluation function uh, within these uh, classes. So this these two line is uh, actually passing the initial um, data set or initial attributes into this attribute part. And this is that we communicate with these classes. Um, we, we use this, um, we, we communicate with the classes and then call out this function within the classes. So this is stock evaluation is to call, is to call out the function. So let's see what we could have. Um, All right, here we run the code and you can see that the Apple evaluation is uh, present you the done. And then the Google evaluations uh, telling you that um, there is an up. So what does that mean is that, okay, this is the open price minus the close price. If that 
oh sorry if the valuation is larger than zero that means the close price larger than the open price oh that should be sorry that should be close and then that should be open in order for me to to give you the correct result yeah because apple stock price is um, going up by five dollars and then google's um, stock price is going down by ten dollar so this is um how we could set up the attribute parts and also how we keep how we could set up the method parts and then how we um provide the initial setting or initial data attributes to the data um to the to this class and this is how we call out the evaluate functions uh within this class and so that's the end of this series and i hope to enjoy this series and the later on there are a lot there are lots of more series that we are going to have and then that and this and then this series uh, i hope that could provide you a very solid foundation in order for you to continue to work out a lot uh, work out some uh, meaningful or some useful python projects so thank you so much and bye bye